Hi everybody, it's Guru Bob and welcome to another video from me on day 7 of the 30 day challenge. Well you should have just finished watching Anthony, Dr. Anthony, uh, go through how to use Market Samurai to um, add a pretty link, uh, link to your blog for your uh, ad promotion on the sidebar of your blog. Now that you have a pretty link in place, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a link into the post of your blog so that you've, you've got a uh, promotional link in your, inside your first post as well as uh, linking from the ad to whatever it is that you're promoting. Should be a fairly quick video, it's very easy to do, so let's get straight to it. So we're going to add a pretty link link to our blog. Before we do that, I'm just going to show you the SERP listing for the Vintage Electric Guitar blog in the Google uh, search engine returns for the phrase Vintage Electric Guitar, which is our main theme keyword for the uh, blog example that we used in last year's 30 day challenge. And you can see that we, we are still the number one uh, ranking website for that phrase um, for 1.4 million competing pages, uh, broad match. And uh, we're, we're considered an authority site. You can see that one of the indications that you're an authority site is you get a bunch of site links that, um, that Google gives uh, to various sort of pages on your site um, relative to your main, main site link. So this is the sort of thing that you're going to be hoping to leading towards to dominate uh, whichever micro niches you're targeting in the challenge. But our focus in this video is the blog itself. And uh, this is an example of the blog. And uh, you can see that um, in the sidebar of the blog, we've got a pr promotion for an Amazon product, a, a vintage guitar price guide. And I've updated this blog uh, for this year to have the link, the affiliate link, to be a pretty link. And you can see down in the status bar down here, in the status bar of Firefox, you can see that I've now got a, uh, a link which uh, comes from the domain of this blog and the actual link is very keyword specific to the product itself. So that's perfect. But what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be adding a link to a post on the blog itself. Now, at this stage, we don't expect you to have a product specific post on your blog. At this stage, you'll just have an article optimized for your main theme keyword, and you're going to be uh, turning one of, your one of your instances of your theme keyword in your article to a link. Um, but at a certain point, when, you're, when you get to a certain degree of um, authority, you, know, you can start making um, promotion, post promotions on the blog itself, uh, which is what I've done here to use an example. Now, at this stage, I haven't put a link into the post. That's what I'm going to be showing you how to do here. Uh, so we're going to head on over to WordPress Direct, of course. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is get my link, which of course, if, if you follow Anthony's instructions um, in the last video, you will have done via Market Samurai, but that will have created a link in the pretty link area uh, inside WordPress Direct. So to get that link, we're going to go uh, to the show options here, go to the plugins link, scroll down to the pretty link area and click on manage links. And uh, the link that you've created for your product should be there. As you can see that that we've got uh, um, a pretty link set up here for the vintage guitar price guide. So I'm just going to copy the um, pretty link here, select that and copy that to the clipboard so that I can now go into the post area and, uh, and, and use that link in the post. Now to go into the post area, um, you can click on the uh, manage posts link in your WordPress control panel and uh, find your post within your list of posts. You can see I've got a bunch of posts here. The uh, Vintage Guitar Price Guide post is the last one that I've done, so that's at the top of the list. And I'm going to click on the Edit link here to bring up the Editor window. And that brings up a WYSIWYG editor uh, with my post in it. Now, what I'm going to be doing is selecting an instance of my keyword in the post of my article here. And you can see that I've got, I've used the, my theme keyword of the blog, of course, is vintage electric guitar. And I've got that um, in the first sentence of my post. So I'm actually going to select that one there. And I'm going to click on this link icon here, insert edit link. 
and that will open up a, a link window where I can paste my link URL. And of course, I've already copied that across from the Pretty Link Manage Plugins area. So I'm going to paste that in. Um, I'm going to set the target so that if somebody clicks on that link, uh, the target of the link opens up into a new browser window. And I get a chance to actually title the link, which means I can put in another instance of my theme keyword. So I'm going to put in vintage electric guitar. It's just a little bit more on-page SEO uh, in our favor. And click insert. And that converts that into a link. Now, quite aside from the fact that if somebody's reading this post and might click on this and go and visit your affiliate product promotion, by having um, your theme keyword and your category keywords on your blog, having them occasionally actually be active links uh, further increases the on-page relevance of your, uh, of your post for that particular keyword. So there is a, an SEO benefit here, but also a commercial benefit, of course, because somebody might click on that link and go and check out your product promotion and ultimately, hopefully, buy. So having uh, added that link in now, I'm going to save that post. And that should have updated that. So if I go back to the blog and uh, refresh, you can see that my my keyword phrase here in my post, Vintage Electric Guitar, is now a link. And that link takes me, uh, points to the pretty link, which ultimately will take, and that link will take people to the Amazon listing for the 2009 Vintage Guitar Price Guide. All right, well, that was it. Fairly straightforward. That's just how, that's how you create a link in a post uh, using WordPress Direct. Speak soon.